So one of the great things about PC gaming in general is your ability to swap out individual components within a system and get either new or used components to fill that space for potentially upgrading your system in a cheap and cost effective manner. Yesterday we took a look at the performance of an RX 460 which retails for sort of between $90 and $95 for the 2 gigabyte variant and that's if you're buying a brand new version. So today I want to stack up the GTX 660 which came 4 years before the RX 460 and you can buy these on eBay all day long for around the $60 price point and that's including shipping. So let's see how this $60 card stacks up against a $90 brand new card. Like many cards, the GTX 660 came in many different variants. This particular one is an EVGA one, which seems to be very prevalent on used websites like eBay, and I'm not really sure if that's just because EVGA made way more of these than everyone else did, or if they've just stuck around because they have really great aesthetics considering the time period they came out in, and also they have this, or many of them rather, have this two fan design which is common among modern day graphics cards including the RX 460 from Gigabyte that we tested out. Now both cards stack up reasonably well together both featuring two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory uh, but again as mentioned four years is a long time in technology and the RX 460 should win right? Well, don't get too far ahead of yourself as the GTX 660 launched around the $230 price point back in 2012, whereas the RX 460s at launch were in that sort of $120 range, with some of them coming up even a little bit less, more like $110. So they were filling very different gaps in the market with the GTX 660 being more of a mid-range card and the 460 from AMD being much more geared towards the low-end market. So let's run through those benchmarks, see how they stack up, and give a couple closing thoughts after after the break. We kick things off here in this comparison with a Grand Theft Auto 5 at medium settings 1080p test and we see that the RX 460 does score a very small victory in the average FPS category. However, the GTX 660 fights back and does much better in the 1% low and 0.1% low. All things considered, I would go with the GTX 660 on this one just because it provides an overall smoother gameplay experience. Moving on to Overwatch at medium settings at 1080p, we see that the RX 460 does score a victory in all three categories, but it's a very small victory in each case. That being said, a win's a win. Moving over to the Skyrim Special Edition, we have virtually a wash where the 460 does outperform the 660 on the average FPS benchmark. However, moving to the 1% and 0.1% lows, the GTX 660 scores small wins. So again, this one is virtually equal. And finally, moving over to the League of Legends benchmark, we see that the RX 460 does win in all three categories, but again, it's a very small win in all three cases, so it's nearly equal. Moving on to the averages of our four titles, we see that the 460 scores a very small victory in the average FPS. They are both tied at 59 FPS for the 1% low, and the GTX 660 scores a very small win in the 0.1% low by 3 FPS. Things get a little bit more interesting when we consider the price comparisons. A brand new RX 460 is going to run you around $90, and because it's a somewhat recent card, they're still a little bit hard to find much under that, even on the used market. I've seen them go for as low as $70, but you really have to sort of keep an eye out for that sort of thing. The GTX 660, on the other hand, can be had for around $60, give or take a little bit. Um, I've seen them go for much lower than that, and I've seen them go for higher than that recently. But if you compare the two and average out each frame that you're getting from our average of the uh, four titles we tested, you'll see that the GTX 660, you are actually paying only 74 cents per frame of that average, and the RX 460, you're paying a dollar and five cents per frame of that average. So the better value right now is the GTX 660, at least on paper. So that came up actually a lot like I thought it would. The GTX 660 does hang with the RX 460, and they're very competitive. In fact, swapping a few blows here and there between, depending on which games you're looking at. That being said, there are some other things to consider aside from price point and price per frames. The fact is that the GTX 660 you're getting is going to be a used card unless you're extremely lucky and found a brand new one still sealed in its box. And even then, we're working on a technology that is four years old. In addition, the RX 460 does not require require any additional power from the power supply, whereas the 660 in most cases will require a 6-pin PCIe connector. 
But if you're interested in getting performance near the RX 460 and you're willing to go the used route, the GTX 660 has seen its price plummet over the past year, about a year ago, and I only know this by the way because I like keep an eye on this sort of thing. The GTX 660 was going for more like $100, give or take a little bit, depending on shipping costs and the condition of the card. So the prices for this card have gone down a lot in the past year, and you can now pick them up, like I said, all day long for around $60 on just available sites like eBay. So let me know down in the comments below whether you are about ready to build a system, are you gonna go the used parts route and try to part together something, maybe sort of like a Frankenstein system that still gives you good performance at a great uh, price point, or are you gonna go the brand new route and just get the best brand new equipment you can now and hope it lasts a good long while? Let me know in those comments down below. And as always guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things help out a ton. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware, they're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos over here from my channel. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.